Ace this trendy technique that looks complicated but takes a few simple steps to pull off. Assalamualaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video, I will create a pink and gold halo eye makeup look. This eye makeup really opens up the eyes and gives the illusion of bigger rounder eyes. To begin, you'll need to create a smooth base for your eye makeup using a primer. I don't have an eye primer so I will use a concealer. I am using LA Girls Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer in the shade Natural. A brush tip applicator makes placement easier than ever. Gently squeeze the product into the brush and apply as needed. This will ensure that the color shows up well and will help keep the shadow in place throughout the day. I will apply this on the eyelids and lower lash line and smooth it with my finger. And then using a beauty blender, I will gently dab the concealer and work it into the skin. The concealer will neutralize in any discoloration and help create a smooth base. I will not set the concealer with a translucent powder this time. Instead, I will use the eyeshadows directly onto this tacky concealer to keep the colors vibrant. I will use this mini trio of colorful and vibrant eyeshadows. I will use this shade today in the inner and outer corners. This is a neutral toned medium dark red with a metallic finish. I will apply this shade with my finger into the inner and outer corners of the eyelid. Blend the shade towards the brow bone without touching the center of the eyelid too much and taking the color outside the eyelid towards the hairline. And carefully blend it well until there are no harsh lines. You can darken the spots by applying more of the same eyeshadows. For a transition color, in case of the spotlight halo eye, you want to keep it light since the main focus will be on the center of the eyelids. So using a fluffy brush, I will apply the transition color into the crease area with a very light hand. Connect the colors on the inner and outer corners of the eyes. For the transition color, this is the shade I used. This is a slightly warm toned medium dark red with a matte finish. Start blending at the outside corner of the eye and sweep the brush in a half moon motion up and around to the crease line. Just fade it out as you move up towards the brow bone. Feel free to draw the shadow up towards the end of your eyebrow a bit for an angled fan look. Then take a clean fluffy brush and blend the color so that it all fades nicely into your skin. Use soft sweeping brush strokes to blend the shades, keeping the center of the eyelid as visible as possible. I will apply concealer to this area to brighten it and blend it out for a smooth clean canvas for the next step. Using this palette, Natured Classic Earth Tone Eyeshadow Palette, I will use the shade Gold. This is a very warm toned medium dark gold with a metallic finish. This is what the halo eye look is all about. The halo should look sandwiched between the inner and outer eyeshadows. You can use a sponge tip applicator to apply the bright eyeshadow but I will use my finger to place the gold shade in the middle. The central eyelid is the heart and soul of the halo eye makeup look. You can see both corners of the eye have a dark shade. You must use a light but bright color in the center of the eyelid. Again, use a clean fluffy brush to blend the newly added gold eyeshadow where it meets the darker colors so that it looks like a natural transition and not a harsh demarcation. Use an eyelash curler, curl the top lashes and don't forget your bottom lashes. Next, I will use a black eye pencil to tight line the upper and lower water lines. Tight lining is used to boost the intensity of your lashes and visibly neutralize any sparse sections. Use this technique to make your eyes stand out by adding definition and intensity. To complete your halo eye makeup look, you can keep it as is or you can glam it up by adding a winged liner. To make this step quick and easy, I will use an eyeliner stamp. Just line the winged stencil stamp with the edge of your upper lash line and stamp gently. Use the eyeliner pen included to fill and shape. Swipe on a coat or two of mascara. Place the mascara wand against the base of your lashes and wiggle it back and forth a little. You want the most product to be applied to the roots which will make your lashes look longer and keep them from getting weighed down on the tips. Put the mascara only on the roots of the lower lashes. To create a balanced halo eye makeup look, be sure to apply the same colors used on your top lid to the lower lid as well. Just mimic the shade placement of the eyeshadows on your eyelid along your lower lash line to finish off the halo eye makeup look. Make sure to blend the shade seamlessly using a small smudger brush. And then using an eyebrow pencil, I will use the micro angle tip end to shape, define and add in fine hair like strokes. And then complete the brow look by using a spoolie to blend it all. For a more polished look, just add in false eyelashes. I will use these dollar store eyelashes in the style 025. From the same eyeshadow palette, I will use this shade. This is a moderately warm toned light beige with a frost finish. 
I will add a highlighting shade, Virgin, to the inner corner of the eye to really brighten and open it up. I will also apply this to the brow bone area and above the arch of the eyebrow. To give the hijab a pop of color, I'm just going to be adding an underscarf. Now the material of the undercap is very stretchy, strong and comfortably soft. This is 100% polyester lycra fabric. It's easy and practical use with a knot tied and elastic model. Double layer register designing which doesn't show the skin, the sewing and sweat traces on the forehead. The hijab under scarf caps just make sure that your scarves and hijabs stay in place, stop the hairs from slipping out and adds a lovely significance of color with the ever popular layered hijab styles. And we're done! So if one of you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post. Leave a constructive comment and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do. But I really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm love is bye. Jazakallah khair. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.